We've just come back from a really nice trip away in uh, in Somerset and uh, we had a, a really enjoyable time and we noticed that the light on the toilet stopped working for, uh, for whatever reason and uh, we can't work out what's going on there and uh, reading around on some of the forums and some of the online chat rooms and some useful help it may be that we've lost the magnet out of the toilet cassette so we've come up here today we're going to have a fiddle around and uh, see if we can work out exactly what's going on with it and we've picked probably the hottest day of the year so far i am already sweating and uh, we haven't even done anything so uh, let's go and see what we can actually do I've taken the toilet cassette out and as we look at the, the toilet here the magnet which is inside on the float travels up and down here so what I want to prove is whether the magnet is still in there and whether um, it's working all right and we don't need to do anything about going inside we don't need to fiddle around with anything mucky we can do it with some of the uh, equipment that we've got on the van already so let's get on this and do that so looking on the outside of the van if we uh, open up the uh, actual cavity and as you can see this is inside and right at the back there we've got a circuit board uh, with a connector on it and a wire and then down a bit further you can see a purple block well that purple block is a fuse and that circuit board is what's known as a reed switch and a reed switch is a very simple little uh, switch and if I take it out I'll show it to you uh, in, in closer detail so removing the, the actual board itself if I can uh, get up a bit closer, it's very simple, it's got a connector on the end, which is a wire, and the circuit board itself just comes out. And if we pull it out into the nice sunshine and not inside the toilet, you can see here that, that basically what we've got is a little red block, and that's a magnetic sensitive switch. It's called a reed switch. They're very common in door alarms. You would find uh, a magnet in a door and uh, the actual switch in the door frame and that's how old-fashioned uh, door alarms would work to know whether a door is open or closed and, uh, and it's the same principle a magnet rubs up against that reed switch that reed switch then creates the circuit and the circuit switches on the LED on the toilet so let's see if this is working so I've got my faithful cameraman here doing all the camera work for me whilst I fiddle around and I've taken out the um, the piece of uh, the, the reed switch from inside the van and some vans use uh, a 3 volt supply mine doesn't it's using the 12 volt supply from the van itself so I've taken that out um, and I've tested it and I'll show it to you working if I uh, use my multimeter with a continuity test so if I put those two together you can see that that's working and I've got a fridge magnet here which is quite handy no jokes intended and if I just go across the reed switch and continuity like so and if I put the hand and you can see it's a phone backed hand so there's no shorting out here you can hear that that's working if I can get the contact that's working okay like so so I know that that reed switch is working so what I want to do is move this reed switch up and down here so you can hear it working so you can see there well I know then that I haven't flushed the magnet away it's still in place so there's a problem somewhere else in uh, in the circuit so I know that this is working I know that that's okay so let's have a look and see what else we can find can assure you that I've tested this and it's working absolutely fine however there is one fault on here and that was the pins here are very very corroded so we know that this is fine let's have a look at the fuse and see if that's okay just pull the fuse out like so and we'll just to see whether that's okay and uh, looking at it it's fine but let's just prove that it's working okay electrically again you can see that there's some corrosion on the the pins there and uh, and again I've tested it with my multimeter and I can absolutely confirm that this is absolutely fine if this was blown well this is a 3 amp car type blade fuse so you can pick these up quite cheaply and quite uh, readily available so it's just a 3 amp um, I don't need to replace this one it's fine um, 
and uh, and I've proven that everything is okay by measuring across uh, that black lead there, if the camera can focus. I've proven that there is actually voltage going here by going across here and across one side of the fuse and that's proven to me that there is voltage going there no problems at all. So the next thing to do is to mimic the reed switch and see if that's okay. So that's the next tip. So the way we're going to prove whether the toilet, uh, the reed switch is working is by mimicking the reed switch by using just a piece of wire. And all I've done here is I've just stripped some cable back and what we're going to do is we're going to short out that plug and uh, pretend that this is in fact the reed switch so it's making the circuit. So uh, I'm going to do this and my son is going to be inside shouting out to me yes and no when the light switch goes on. So let's get on and do that. So Thomas is on the inside of the caravan. This is, uh, this is toilet cam so to speak. <laughs> so I'm down here and you're going to look and see whether the lights are switching on or off um, in the caravan. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm going to basically just fiddle around with the wire down here. So let's, uh, let's see if this works. So we've got the connector here. And we're just going to go across the back of the connector initially. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we know that there's continuity there. We know the LED works. Let's go inside the plug. Yeah. Yeah. And that's working okay, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So there we are. It's not very elegant, but that's proving that that, work it, that circuit is working. So let's prove, see if it's working with the actual reed switch. So let's uh, let's see whether we can get this to work now. So if I place the hand over the reed switch, anything? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. Come up with the back of the switch. Anything? No. Okay. Interesting. So we know the reed switch is working. We know that the, the plug is okay. So there's a problem between the circuit board and the switch. There is a fault with this board, but it's nothing to do with the reed switch. It's got nothing to do with the uh, components which are on here. The actual fault is the connections. Um, it was quite corroded when I had a look at it to start with. Um, and uh, I've cleaned it up as best as I can, but it's not quite making the, the circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this home and I'm going to put some solder onto those connections and I'm just going to bulk out and uh, try and clean up as much as possible and re tin the reed switch itself and hopefully that will cure the fault. So back at home and here we are I'm testing out the, um, the reed switch and as I can confirm it's not working at all. But connecting it straight to the reed switch as you can see in here uh, the meter is working no problem. So I've lifted up the uh, track here and just as I'm pointing out here there is absolutely no track whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't work at all. It seems to have corroded away quite badly. So what I've done, I've just soldered in a piece of wire uh, just to uh, bridge the gap and I'll just place the reed switch back over it, solder it back in place and here we go, all working. So let's get back in the car, head back over to the van and try it out. Okay, so here we go, I've got it back in position now with the fixed uh, track. Got my handy magnet and I'm going to put it on top and the light is on. The light is on. Yeah. Cool. Excellent job. So that really works. Brilliant. So let's put it back in place and let's try test it properly by filling the loo up with water. Yeah. Toilet's primed and ready to go. And we'll just keep an eye on here. So if you want to start pouring water into there, not so quick, but quick enough. We'll see whether this works. Still pouring? Yeah. Out of water. Ooh. Out of water? Yeah. How much water has it taken? Um, half mm. of it maybe. Okay. Alright then go and fill up Okay, so here's second second go. 
There we go, the red light's on. Perfect. This system works. So it's just over 10 litres there, Tom, I think you've put in. Cool. Excellent. Oh. The system works. So that's the toilet fixed. Woohoo!